Next utility is Mongo Import. Using this utility, you can easily import data into MongoDB collection. If collection is absent, it will be created automatically. You can import data in JSON or CSV formats. If you use JSON, you can use either extended JSON mode or shell mode syntax. Let's look at the examples. If MongoDB server is local, you can use such command. You specify database name, then collection where you want to import documents to, and name of the file, in this case persons.json. Next example, if you want to import data into remote MongoDB server. Here you need to add all data required for connection to remote server. It is hostname, username, password, and authentication database. All other parts are the same. Let's look at the syntax more deeply. So Mongo import, then optional host, it is a host name of the remote server, then dash dash username is username, dash dash password password, authentication database, usually it is admin, then db where you want to insert data to, and then collection name where this data will be stored, and dash dash file, file name with documents. Please note that if you will try to insert documents into the collection where documents already exist, and you will try to add documents with a duplicate index value, then MongoDB will produce an error. By default, there is one unique index field, and it is, of course, underscore ID. Okay, let's go on, and next let's try Mongo import utility in action. See you shortly.